Thank you, Chairman. Uh, welcome, General Hyten. Um, I want to say I appreciate that you have long expressed um, your frustration about our inability as both government and military to move more quickly in terms of acquisition as well as in terms of decision making. And I certainly agree that we need to be more agile and responsive across the board. I think that applies to space systems, it applies to helicopters, it applies to our nuclear programs. Does it concern you that the NNSA conducted an analysis of alternatives on pit production uh, that chose to ignore the Nuclear Weapons Council's previously endorsed plan to meet our nation's nuclear stockpile requirements and that it also took three years for that analysis to move forward? So I, it doesn't concern me that it conducted analysis of alternatives. I think that's a smart thing to do, but it does concern me that it took three years. Uh, I, I don't think any AOA should take three years. Uh, we take three years in the Department of Defense a lot too. Uh, I don't know why that is, Senator. I don't know why we spend so much time. It used to be we could build something in three years, but now we like to study things uh, for three years. But like I said earlier, uh, Lisa Gordon Haggerty, the, the new ad the administrator of NSA, she called me day one and said, uh, we're going to get you the answer. I don't have the answer yet on where we're going to go. As a member of the Nuclear Weapons Council and as a STRATCOM commander, my job is to state the requirement. The requirement is 80 pits. Right. And oh, by the way, the first element of that is 30 pits at Los Alamos. Right. That is regardless of whatever the AOA comes out. We've got to get to 30 pits sure. at Los Al first. Do you think it would have been appropriate and, and smart for them to at least have considered uh, the pathway that was chosen a few years ago as a response to the fact that NNSA was not moving fast enough at the time? So I, I think they're doing that in part of their engineering analysis now. I, I haven't seen the results of that yet. I'll see that shortly. I, I, think, uh, uh, I think Lisa Gordon Haggerty is committed to this body to come back I've in the near future. I've had some future. productive conversations with her. Can, can you talk a little bit about what any additional slip would mean in terms of our life extension programs? I'm, I'm very concerned about any, because basically all the new weapons that we just talked about, uh, Columbia sea launch ballistic missiles, which is Trident, uh, uh, the GBSD, the, the new ICBM, the LRSO, uh, all of those require uh, weapons. Uh, plutonium pits that are 100 years old are not a good thing for this country. Um, that's just, we don't know how to characterize that. We don't know the material interaction of all those pieces. We have to make sure that we have a modern, if we're going to be a nuclear nation, we have to have plutonium pit production. And so I'm concerned that we've now pushed that just like everything else. So everything will deliver just in time. Anytime we have something that delivers just in time, I get very nervous. Well, I, I share your concern. And the NDAA, um, Mr. Chair, that was just signed into law actually requires the Nuclear Weapons Council to certify no later than May 11th of this year that NNSA's recommendations actually meets DOD requirements. So uh, we have certainly got to get this thing back on track and get it on track quickly. Uh, General Hyten, DOD's initial requirements for plutonium pits are to produce 30 pits per year at Los Alamos by 2026. Um, are you and NNSA still laser focused on making that happen? We are laser focused on 30 by 2026 and 80 by 2030, and my requirement is that. I never said where they had to be done, but if we don't get 30 in Los Alamos, we'll never get to 80. Right. If, uh, if personnel and scientific expertise were shifted from one place to another during that effort, what would be the potential impact for the near-term goals? So I, I've told uh, the Secretary of Energy as well as the Administrator of the NNSA that um, we can't move anything out of Los Alamos uh, into uh, Savannah River that would take our eyes off of the 30 in 2026. And I'm going down to Los Alamos and sending my people down to Los Alamos to make sure that that focus is always there because, again, if we can't get to 30 by 2026 at Los Al, we can't get there at all. Well, I, I appreciate your uh, focus on this effort. Um, it's, it's very welcome, and you're always welcome at Los Alamos.